Hey, what's up my friends? It's me, Torigo Pro, and I'm very sorry I wasn't able to make a video in the past two weeks because I got sick, I'm okay right now, and at the same time, I was actually busy setting up all those Wi-Fi access points we did on our earlier video on how you can set up a campus Wi-Fi network. Now, if you haven't watched the video, there's a link up here. You can go there and watch that one if you want to. Now, this video is some sort of continuation of that, but you don't need to necessarily watch a video to understand this video. Now, our scenario right now is that we have a school campus and then we have already installed these indoor access points inside our building, but we want the users from the outside of the building to be able to connect to our Wi-Fi network, but they are out of range. I have already ordered outdoor access points so that we can go ahead and mount them outside, but not only that these are outdoor access points, they have Wi-Fi mesh technology in them. Now, if you do not know what a Wi-Fi mesh technology is, I'm going to quickly explain that one just after we unbox and hook this one to our network. So let's go ahead and unbox these items. One, two, let's start with this one. That's how it looks like. And a quick simple diagram here on how it's going to work. Unify AC mesh, indoor outdoor, mesh 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Open this one up. That's how it looks like. This is where you plug your Ethernet. And then that's a back panel. This is where you put your antenna. What else do we have here? PO injector, power cable, and something you can use to tighten up when you're mounting it and screws. Some more back panel and your antenna. You can put them in like this, turn it up, turn it up. And then you can flex this one. So that's how it looks like. Let's go ahead and unbox the second item we have and quickly assemble this one also. Let's go and see the previous Wi-Fi setup we have. That's the PoE switch we have on our earlier video. We have connected our Wi-Fi access points. This is our controller. Now let's go ahead and plug these access points. So this should power up because they are PoE devices. So you can see the light coming up. It's being powered by the switch. Let's go ahead and plug the other one. Plug it. Close the one. Plug it to our switch. There you go. And you can see that there is power. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our computer and adapt this one. So you can see it's being powered up open up our browser get into our controller and we're in let's go and check on our devices you can see those are our indoor access points they are connected and two of them below are those the ac mesh we just connected so we're going to adopt and upgrade this one click confirm click confirm so this will take time because it's going to download those upgrades from the internet at the same time you can see this is blinking white and blue it means it's upgrading the firmware until it's done let's go back to our controller and see some of the features that we have here while waiting for that upgrade so this is the list of the devices we have already connected and you can see a quick diagram that we have here we have six clients that are already connected some data that we can use to analyze what's going with our network scroll down 
there are also data here we can use to analyze what's happening on our network. It's good to see what's happening on your network. Check on it. There you go. It has been upgraded and it is connected to our Wi-Fi campus network. So you can see the status here, that blue light blinking at the first time. It is steady right now. It means it's good for deployment already. Let's explain how this mesh Wi-Fi is going to work. So this is our compass diagram here, and we have already planned out how this mesh Wi-Fi is going to be set up. We have the first one there, and then we have the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, and the seventh one, but we only have two. But we're going to scale this one later on. And then we have our indoor access points that are already installed at the first place. Now these indoor access points are directly connected to a switch, so they are hardwired together. Now imagine if you're going to connect this outdoor access point hardwired, you'll be having trouble connecting with them, laying out those cables. Now here comes your Wi-Fi mesh technology. They can wirelessly connect to each other, creating redundant links. You can see this one, it's like a repeater, but it's more than a repeater because it can connect to multiple signals. Now imagine if one of these indoor access point goes down, some of the links that are connected to this outdoor access point go down, but there are still redundant links that this Wi-Fi access point can use to connect to each other wirelessly. Even if you lose multiple links here, as long as you can connect to each other wirelessly, you will be good. Now imagine if you want to expand your network like what we're doing, and it's going to be a very wide campus. It would be a challenge if you're going to hardware every single access point you have. This is where your mesh Wi-Fi comes in. That's all about your Wi-Fi mesh technology. If you have any questions, just drop a comment down below. If it's your first time in my YouTube channel and you like videos like this one, just hit the subscribe button and like my video, share it to your friends. This is Toragi Pro and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.